What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. This question is a tough one. Another word problem dealing with quadratics. So a parabolic tunnel is six meters wide and has a max height of seven meters. Can a truck that is six meters high and 2.3 meters wide fit through? Okay, so let's draw a diagram for this. So we have a parabolic tunnel. So let's draw this tunnel here. That is six meters wide. So the distance from this edge to this, uh, to this edge is six meters. So this point here is zero and zero. This point here is six and zero, right? Six meters wide. And this uh, tunnel has a max height of seven. So at this point here, right in the middle, at that vertex, the maximum point is, uh, the height is seven. So what's the coordinate of this point gonna be? Well, if we know the intercepts, we know the vertex happens right in the middle of the intercepts. So six plus zero divided by two gives us three. So we know that this point here is three and seven. So before we talk about the truck, notice that at this point, we can find an equation that models this tunnel, where uh, x would be the distance from this edge, and then uh, h would be the height of the tunnel. So because we have the intercepts, we could put this in factored form. So x minus r, r is an intercept, so x minus zero is just x, then x minus s, the other intercept is six, so we'd have x minus six. And then notice we have a point on this parabola, three and seven, midway between the edges, and then the height is seven, that's the max height. So we could plug in seven for h, three for x, the horizontal distance from the edge, and uh, solve for a. So this would be three times negative three. So we'd have seven equals negative nine a. So a is negative seven over nine, like that. So we would plug this in here. So basically, the equation that models this bridge here is negative seven over nine x, x minus six. All right, so basically the two intercepts factored form, solve for that a value, which was negative seven over nine with that max point. So now that we have the equation modeling the bridge, what is this question asking us? They're asking if a truck that is six meters high and 2.3 meters wide can fit through with this bridge. So the way that you check that is if we draw a box here like this, basically at this point, the height of the bridge, let's say is six. So height-wise, at this point and above, the truck is gonna be able to fit through. The question is, will the width be able to fit through? So what we wanna do is we actually wanna find at which points here, let's call this X1 and X2, is the bridge six meters high. And then what we can do is we can check, is this width here um, 2.3 meters or greater? Because if this width is greater, 2.3 meters or greater, then the truck can fit through. But if this width here maybe, let's say, is like 2.1 meters, then the truck's not gonna be able to fit through because it needs at least six meters of height 
and 6 meters of height gives us a distance of 2.1 meters. And any height above that, the distance is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Right? So this distance between these two points has to be at least 2.3 meters. So that's what we have to check. So we have to solve for this x1 and x2 here. And the way we do that is we plug in 6 for the height. So we'd have 6 equals negative 7 over 9x, x minus 6. And then we solve for those x values. And there's going to be two solutions, and that's going to be your x1 and x2. And then you want to check if the difference between them is going to be greater than 2.3 or less than 2.3. Right? So here, doing this algebra, if we uh, distribute this negative 7 over 9x inside the bracket, we have negative 7 over 9x squared. Negative 7 over 9 times negative 6 gives us positive 42 over 9x, like that. And then you want to bring this over. So you'd have 0 equals negative 7 over 9x squared plus 42 over 9x minus 6. And then from here, uh, you want to see if you could factor this. Notice we're working with these fractions. So if you want to get rid of the fractions, you can actually multiply everything by the lowest common denominator, which is 9. So we would multiply the 0 by 9. Multiply this by 9, multiply this by 9, multiply that by 9. So 9 times 0 is just 0. Here the 9's will cancel out, so we'd have negative 7x squared. The 9's cancel out here, we'd have 42x, and uh, negative 9, or uh, 9 times negative 6 is negative 54. So now we just got to solve this quadratic equation here and get those two x values. Now you can try to factor this. This actually won't factor smoothly, so I'll just save you the suspense. Uh, so we're going to have to throw it in the quadratic formula. So continuing this up here, we know the a value is negative 7, the b value is 42, and then the c value is negative 54. So quadratic formula, we know x equals negative b, so negative 42, plus or minus square root 42 squared minus 4 times a times c. And this is going to be all over 2 times a times negative 7. And when you work that through, you would end up with 252 in the square root. And then you would end up with two solutions because of that plus or minus. So the two solutions that you should get if you round to three decimal places is 4.134 and 1.866. So what do those solutions mean? Well, that's this x1 and x2 that we solve for. So this here is 1.866. Uh, and then this point here is 4.134. So what's this uh, distance here? Well, the distance between these two points at a height of 6 meters is 4.134 minus 1.866. And when you do that in your calculator, you end up getting 2.268. So the distance between them, between these two points, is 2.268, which is less than what is required. This is less than 2.3 meters. So because that distance is less than 2.3 meters, conclusion, truck won't fit. Right? If this ended up being greater than 2.3, then the truck can go through. At a height of 6, it would have enough width to get through. But uh, at a height of 6 meters, the widest distance that the tunnel is is 2.268 meters, which is not enough to get a truck that is 2.3 meters wide. Right? So not too, too bad of a question. It's just understanding how this all works. So first thing you want to do, you want to get an equation for the tunnel, which we got here. And then 
if you're seeing if objects can fit through, you want to plug in the height of the objects and solve for those two x values. And then you want to see what's the distance between the two x values and see if that distance is enough to cover the width of the object that you're trying to get through. And uh, if that distance is less than the width, then the object won't fit. So in this case, the truck won't fit. If uh, the width was greater, if, uh, sorry, the distance was greater than the width of the object that you're trying to fit through, then the object would fit. All right, so answer, truck won't fit.